Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Alright, based on the request you guys have been putting through, um, in this video I'm going to show you guys two ways of prop, one quick way of fixing a broken riser and a proper way if you want to go in more detail. In this laptop pretty much I'm going to, I have broken a few risers in here and I'm going to use it as a demonstration for you guys to see what's the proper way of doing it. For example, I have broken the riser right here. It's not desoldered, it is broken, so I kind of just somehow I broke it, bending it too much. So it's a broken riser. I broke this riser right here. It just pretty much cracked. And I have broken this riser. I'm going to go in a few minutes into detail. All right. To fix our risers are really simple. The tools that you're going to need, it's, I'm going to go over, is an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, 95% plus. You will need a solder, okay, any kind of solder is good, and any kind of flux that we could do. This one is a little bit left, but any flux will do too. You will need a, a solder removing wire or wick, so I'll leave the link for this one in the video description. You will need a, I will call it some kind of, uh, wood a toothpick but it's a big one like a, you can grab a chopstick you can make it pointy so grab a chopstick or anything like this a wood and after that you will need a little bit of a uh, workshop towel with one sheet that's more than enough obviously a scissors and next you need a motherboard that the riser is broken on so i'm gonna lift it up by putting some okay and you don't want to work on a work on something that you can absorb a little bit of heat so it doesn't burn so i'm gonna put a cardboard box right there and i'm gonna place this one right here so it gives me kind of angle here so you guys can see so let's see if it's gonna focus on this one there we go stay right there there and you will need a solder uh, a soldering station you can get this one which is a ts100 these are really good or you can grab any other cheap soldering so in this case i'm going to use a different one here this is my old uh, solder station so with all this on hand we can go ahead and fix it uh, repair number one will be if you want to do it quickly quick repair so all you need to do is to measure your wood, make sure this wood pick that goes right through it and it stays really tough. So this one is actually wiggling in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a little bit of on the top. So let's go ahead and just knock down a little bit. So this one can screw in there. So screw it in there, make sure it holds it nicely. There we go. Now I got the whole riser locked in place in here, so it's not going to come out or anything like that. And the wood is good because the wood doesn't absorb heat, so it's not going to cool it down. That's what we need. So before we do anything, first we need to put a level of flux on the, around the edge. Doesn't matter how much flux you put, just go ahead and put some flux. Let me clean the flux tip a little bit. So I'm just going to put a little bit of flux right there. All right. So what do we want to do right now? First, you want to make sure you find the angle. Remember the risers, they have a little notch on them. So I don't know if you guys can see that notch right there. If it's going to focus. Come on, focus. Yeah. You see that tiny notch right there? So it's about like a one millimeter. That notch has to go inside the board. So make sure the notch, some riser don't even have this kind of notch, so it stays straight flat on top. But if yours has a notch, make sure it has to go all the way, the notch in the, um, on the board. So once you put the flux in there, we're going to put this one straight on top, find the position, rotate a little bit. Make sure it goes right in there and it stays still. So with one hand, you're going to hold the riser straight on top. And with the next stand, you want to grab a little bit of the solder on top of the point of the soldering station, soldering. Now, what you're going to do, we're going to hit it right at the bottom of the uh, riser. And we're going to hold it there for a few seconds. I'll say about 10 seconds until you see the whole flux start evaporating. 
and is start absorbing the the solder so we're gonna hit it on the board a little bit on the side make sure the point is hitting the riser so heating up the riser at the same time is heating up the the board so you might leave it there for at least maybe 30 seconds so i'm just touching the body of the riser so it heats up enough to melt down the solder on the bottom and there you go now i can see the riser is actually moving freely in there that means the solder is melted so there we go now we're going to do the same thing on the other side you can grab even more solder so it doesn't matter it's not going to do anything and there we are you can go all around it so make sure it goes nicely don't worry if it's blacking out because that's the paste that is blacking out so i'm going to keep it on top for a little longer make sure it's straight and let go and skip it for another five to ten seconds before pulling it out now I'm gonna let go. Now it's gonna start cooling down and we're gonna start cleaning it up with an alcohol. So you're gonna grab a little bit of alcohol on the tip of the towel and you're gonna start cleaning the around the riser. So now you can actually unscrew the wood thing that you have in there. So now we're gonna just go ahead and clean up the riser all around it. And as you can see, it's perfectly soldered on the board. So this is the quickest way to do and the easiest way to do. So because the volume of the solder that they put on the factory is really little, that's why it cracks up under pressure. Once you put enough solder in there, as long as the solder doesn't go inside the pan, inside the threads right there, you're fine. So make sure it goes all around it. So that's what you want to get. So that's what, number one. That's one way of doing it second method of doing it let's do it on this one right here same thing this riser this riser has a little notch too but this one is a straight one that doesn't have any notch on the side so doesn't matter it can be straight or like this so we're gonna do the same thing on this one we're gonna thread the wood right through it make sure the wood stays nicely in there it's straight okay now before we don't want to use the old solder in here if you want to do it the proper way so we're going to clean up the whole thing in here and the way that we're going to clean it up we're going to add enough flux right on top okay and we're going to use a soldering wick and i always apply a little bit of uh, flux on the other side of the wick a little bit so it makes it easier to absorb the old solder so we need to mix the little bit of the new solder with an old solder. So I'm going to grab a little bit of solder on the pad, on the tape. I'm going to actually mix it around here. So I get that fresh solder mixed with the old solder right there. Let's go ahead and that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put the wick right on top. And we're going to hold it there for at least 3, 4 seconds or 5 seconds. And you're going to see the wick absorbing the solder right there. And we're going to move it around until the whole, everything is being absorbed. And there we have it. Now we're going to go ahead and clean it up. So you should see a soft, smooth surface right on top. So go ahead and clean it up. Now you can see it's a... There is a zero solder in there. It's all super flat. There's nothing in there. There's no old, old solder right in there. We don't have to do anything in here because they mostly we need to pay attention in here. So we're going to add a little bit of flux. Okay. Now we need to grab uh, the, the riser. Same procedure as the old one. We're going to put it on top and we're going to move it around until it fits nicely snugly right in there so i'm gonna put it in a position that you guys can see right there 
and I'm gonna put this one over here. So let's put this one straight over. Once I have it straight over, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a enough solder right here, like a one big drop. I'm gonna bring it to the side. I'm gonna hold it there, touching the uh, riser, and I'm pushing it towards the motherboard, the riser, with this one. So you just wait there for 10 to 15 seconds, let it heat up nicely, and it's gonna go down in its place. Just wiggle it around. And it should go in place. And just to move around a little bit on the side, on the edges, so that thing, the solder goes all around it. I'm gonna go on the back, I have the camera in my face, so. I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna hold it on the body of the solder for at least five to 10 seconds. I'm gonna move around on the bottom side. And there we go. Now I'm gonna hold it there for another five to 10 seconds and then I'm gonna unscrew the wood right through there. Oh, you can just actually leave it there, nothing's gonna happen at the end, you can do. I'm gonna spray some alcohol there straight. The isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol is not conductive, so don't worry about it. Go ahead and clean up around the riser. Obviously, you can do a better job if you don't have a camera right in front of your face. So, there we have it. So, if you look at this solder, it's perfectly... I'm gonna unscrew this one and it's perfectly soldered on the board and when you put the solder hit, touching this one is straight it's going to heat up and the solder goes right underneath everywhere all around it okay the only thing is you just have to make sure it's facing up straight so it's better to do it on a flat surface so you know it's you holding it straight so i was holding it in an angle right here so i wasn't actually holding it straight but doesn't matter if it's, it's still in a little bit of off angle put a little bit of flux so all you need to do is to add a flux, enough flux all around it. Grab a little bit of solder and move it around and hold it in there until it becomes enough hot so it can actually move freely and put a new position. So I'm going to wait for a few seconds. I'm not going to fast forward this part so you guys can see how much I'm holding. There you go. I'm actually able to move the solder right now. You guys can see it in this angle, but it is kind of moving. So I'm going to focus in a correct position. And let go and wait for five seconds. And there we have it. Okay, guys, I hope this answers your question how to fix a riser. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please click that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.